Naomi Campbell, Kate Moss, Elton John, all these incredible people that you've got to experience in your lifetime. The parties that you've gone to. I mean, I've, gone to I've gone to some good parties myself. Who is memorable? Who did you become friends with? Is there a moment that sticks out where you're like, oh, I'll never forget that party? Yeah, you know, it's interesting because my son was sometimes saying, you know, how did you get to meet X? And I said, well, you have to, you sort of, you weave your way back. And when I, so I, I wove my way back through meeting how to get to one person. And I realized that there have been some really pivotal people that I've met. And from that friendship, it's branched out into a lot of people. So Elton is definitely one of those people. Because through Elton, I, I really met a lot of people who, who've become my best friends. Oh, I and there's that. been certain other pivotal people in my life, not all of them famous, but you realize through that friendship, like Hugh, my ex-boyfriend, Hugh Grant, yes. from that friendship, you know, which was a million years ago when I was, I was only 21 when I met him, um, so many really deep friendships have segued off from that, even though they're not direct, a bit like that Kevin Bacon game. Totally. Where you realize you, you have to, if you go back to the source, there's not that many sources, actually, which have led to a great deal of happiness and joy in your no, life. And some really bad things. But um, right, so, right, 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 right. so much are good. But he was what Elton was one of those people. Elton was definitely one of those people because he's he's such a kind man. He is. And he has such a big life. And he has a lot of people in his life. And I've met some people who really have become unbelievably good friends of mine. Yeah, I got the chance to have dinner with him in Las Vegas when he was performing. Went to his suite and sat with him. And it was incredible. But I have this weird thing, and it's kind of ironic because I interview celebrities all the time. But to become friends with them, I get freaked out. Yeah, I, I was nervous when I first met him because I'd had the yellow vinyl, Goodbye Yellow Brick Road, which I'd played 800 million of times course. and knew every word to. So yes, it took a few meetings for my heart to stop pounding. Right, and then you're yeah. trying to act cool and you're like, okay. I'm, I'm like, over that with him now, but yeah, it did take are? a while. It definitely took a while. And certainly some people you meet now, my heart still goes pitter pat and I sound like a moron. I know, me yeah. too. I still geek out and I scream sometimes. And I geeked out with um, Sean Connery very badly. Oh, tell me, please. I was completely please. taken by... I, I, I just let myself down. I stared at him and I managed to squeak. <laughs> you, you're really tall. <laughs> Get that. And then, oh, you really are Scottish. By which time he rolled his eyes and left. <laughs> I just, I just freaked. You know, though that's yeah. not too bad, but it does sound like you were starstruck. <laughs> You're really tall. I didn't know what Come to on. say. Yeah. That, that was the first Pathetic. time I met Madonna. I literally ran. I literally, she called me over to her table at the Vanity Fair party, and I just, I just moved from Chicago. I was working at a Polish grocery store two months prior, and she was like, "Hey, hey I just wanted to say hi." And I literally did the turn around my back. Who's she talking to? And um, she's like, I'm just a wallflower tonight. I'm like, a wallflower. Ah. <laughs> just repeating what the people say. And I just slowly yes. backed up and said, yes. never again. No, no, no. I've, I've been that person a million times. Was it hard to become friends with models at all? Or easier? Well, I didn't really cross paths with that many, to be honest. Because when I got offered my Estee Lauder job, which I'm very grateful to say I still have, I was 29 by then and I'd never done any modeling before. So I didn't really know any models. So I've, I've met some... A, but not really. So lovely Carolyn Murphy, who became an Estee Lauder girl. Yep. You know, she's enchanting. And I've, I, you know, I've met people like Cindy Crawford. But then, but I was never in... It you was never, never in the next circle. Never. Wow. No. 